welcome everyone and thanks for joining uh, this uh, second day. So uh, uh, my name is Jean-Philippe Brantu, I'm from EPFL and I'll be chairing this session. So the first speaker is Rosario Fazio. Uh, so uh, without more delay, please, uh, Rosario, the store, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. So, uh, so I, I should say that I'm really glad to, to join, although I mean, as everybody, we would hope to be there, but uh, that's life. Uh, so I'm going to talk about some work that uh, I did in collaboration with uh, uh, these people listed here. So it's Feedback and uh, Pablo, the students, and then in collaboration with uh, Fabio, Felix, and Liliana, and uh, so below is the reference if you are interested. It's about uh, uh, thermal, I mean, thermal heat engine, thermal machines uh, in, the, in the regime in which uh, the cycle operates very slowly. So we are in the adiabatic, uh, in the adiabatic limit. And uh, before uh, starting to present uh, a little bit of what we did, uh, let me spend uh, a few minutes uh, on uh, on the motivation. So, uh, because uh, so that essentially what I think uh, is nice uh, in this uh, adiabatic machine is that there are several pieces that uh, uh, were discussed in connection with the geometric uh, phases that uh, pop up uh, altogether. Uh, when we had to deal with that engine. And of course, I mean, the starting point is the seminal work by Barberi that showed that if you take a quantum system, uh, sorry, yeah, a quantum system and you just drag along uh, uh, with the slow change in some external parameter and go back to the initial values of these uh, parameters, then the, the system goes back uh, if prepared in some other, but in some, uh, I can say it goes back uh, to the, the same eigenstate, but not quite up to a phase, and uh, this phase up to, I mean, it will have uh, <coughs> a dynamical, but also, and this is the, the, the core of all the discussion, it will acquire also an extra pieces, which is of geometric nature. And since then, the, uh, the presence of uh, Berry phase appeared in many, many, many different contexts. So I will try to highlight here those which are uh, connected to uh, what I'm going to uh, present in the second part of my, uh, of my talk. So for sure, the one important uh, uh, effect where geometric uh, phases appear is was in transport and pumping. So just imagine that you have uh, a piece of conductor which is connected. It does not really matter to specify the details here, yeah, but it's connected to various uh, thermal uh, uh, reservoirs. So there, you can transport charge or whatever energy uh, even uh, without applying uh, any any bias to, to, the, to the different electrodes uh, if uh, the parameters, say this can be gate, voltage, or bicating field, or whatever, depending on the physical system which is considered, uh, are changed. And so in the case in which these parameters are changed slowly, one talked about adiabatic pumping, it, uh, again, this charge or, yeah, this quantity which is transported is uh, in several ways connected to the, to the very phase. And this, this pumping, uh, I mean, this transport uh, through pumping has uh, a very long history, uh, which starts with a uh, with, uh, with very important paper by, by Taules. I have no uh, hope to to list uh, this, this very long uh, series of papers, both theory experimental. I just want to mention among all the experiment, one uh, done in the group of Yuka Pekola, because I will come back in connection to, to, to our uh, work. So I will come back to this, to, to this uh, experiment uh, 
at the, at the end of the uh, at the end of the presentation. Uh, now, geometric uh, very phases in various uh, flavor appear also in quantum information. So, I mean, I'm not talking about any topological or uh, this type of things, but just I uh, want to refer to the fact that uh, people realize, and this I think it was the first paper, realized that it's possible to do uh, gates, not using dynamical phases, but just use geometrical phases. The reason why I'm mentioning this is that uh, when people started uh, this, uh, this, um, the, the studies on, uh, uh, on geometrical quantum computation, they realized that uh, actually they were motivated by the fact, you know, that uh, it might be, you know, more uh, robust uh, to noise because essentially because of the phase is related to the fact that, you know, there is a certain area or which is enclosed by the path and by just fluctuation, essentially they will average to zero. But actually on top of this, uh, actually there were uh, several interesting uh, questions related to the fact that, uh, so what, what is the, what are the properties of geometric phases in open uh, system? Because there are several questions related really to the definition itself of uh, adiabatic limit. And you may find also geometric effect in, uh, uh, in coherence, as this was discussed in this paper by Whitney and co-workers, and there were also experiments done in the in Walvers group. Now, all this to say that all these aspects, uh, saying uh, pumping, uh, um, um, effect of dissipation, they top up uh, when one studies uh, essentially thermal machines that are uh, adiabatically uh, driven. All these uh, various aspects that I try to, to mention uh, um, appear in uh, just uh, in, in one single um, uh, system since uh, so in characterizing uh, this heat engines, then uh, one has to analyze both heat work conversion, which is, which as I will try to say is related to geometric aspects, but also entropy production, which is more related to this uh, dissipation effect of geometric uh, uh, property that I was alluding uh, before. So uh, I, will, uh, I will conclude by trying to say that uh, uh, there is possible realization in experiment. I will start with this uh, by referring to this paper by Pecolas, uh, uh, group. There are uh, some other works that I would like to mention uh, uh, that uh, address uh, different aspects of uh, uh, adiabatic machines. So let me start. Uh, I mean, the, the setup is, um, uh, is pretty standard. Uh, so I will uh, consider just, uh, I mean, two or more reservoirs of polymeter. Uh, there will be some uh, heat flow going. Uh, from one reservoir to the other, depending on the operation system. Uh, and I will refer to the transport current, the one which is, uh, uh, which is, which will go through the system. On top of it, there will be some uh, power which will be dissipated into the system. And uh, essentially the working uh, substance in the middle, which here yeah, is schematized, but few levels will be driven slowly by a set of uh, uh, parameters. So I will um, look at the transported heat that also in this case will be related to, to pumping as, uh, as I mentioned uh, before, just to fix convention. So the heat is, uh, is positive flowing from, from the hot to the cold and the work uh, is positive when the work is done on the system. This means that uh, if I want to look uh, at some heat to work, I mean, some uh, you know, sort of transformation in uh, useful work, I have to find regions in which work is negative, or if the system acts as a refrigerator, the transport should have a negative sign. So what is the model that we uh, consider is uh, 
pretty standard. Uh, so it's just given by some Hamiltonian, which is the system, the bus, some coupling. The only, uh, and there are some uh, parameters that will be modified, will be changed uh, in time uh, slowly. This will be internal in the, in the system containing this HS, so, but there can also be the uh, slow change in the <coughs> and the bus temperature difference for simplicity I consider to reservoir. One uh, uh, word uh, about the the way to insert the uh, temperature bias, we just follow the original idea put forward by by, by Lattinger. Uh, to include uh, thermal bias in the Hamiltonian, which essentially is based on the fact that you just use some kind of potential which is coupled, which couples the Hamiltonian. Just to be, we just use this uh, formulation uh, done in this in this work. Then, uh, so the derivation is uh, pretty standard. What does uh, a linear uh, response? Uh, uh, Theory and all the quantities will have, uh, uh, I mean, oops, sorry. Sorry, I'm going too fast. Uh, so all the, uh, by, by just doing this uh, um, adiabatic uh, linear response, uh, all the, um, the average values will have uh, a first order, a zero order term, which is essentially just the average on the instantaneous, um, I, can, I mean, on the instantaneous state, plus there is uh, first order correction in the, in the derivative of the parameter that are changed. So all the properties of the system are contained in this uh, matrix lambda. So the properties of uh, lambda will encode all the all the um, the feature that uh, the thermal machine will uh, will show in particular i mean uh, if one uh, analyzes the uh, this, uh, this this tensor uh, will have a symmetric and anti-symmetric so the symmetric uh, part uh, which can be expressed this way, but uh, it does not really matter at, at this level, will, um, uh, will be related to, um, uh, to, to entropy production, while the, uh, the imaginary, the, sorry, the anti-symmetric part is essentially, if you wish, the general, generalization of the uh, barely uh, barely curvature for a system which is populated with some probability. PM and uh, I should refer to several works where this uh, uh, this tendril has has been discussed in various form. Uh, one thing that I would like to to say is that here uh, both symmetric and asymmetric component will appear in the operation of the of the bus. Uh, so let me say a few words about uh, this. The the transport. Uh, of the heat, so the heat which is transported through the system can be expressed uh, uh, in this way. So again, uh, it's a function of this, this lambda and it will contain a geometric contribution which is essentially, if you wish, heat pumping and the term which is related uh, to the, which is present if there is a, a linear response, if there is a thermal bias, which is, which will be proportional to the to the period of, to the period of the, of the cycle. In the same way, you can also express the work, which is the integral over the forces, and also here there will be uh, a term that, for a constant bias, will be again geometric, which is the second term here, uh, but will also have uh, some uh, losses, which will be uh, quadratic in this x, so it, it will be proportional to to omega, to the inverse of the period. Um, now, the heat to work conversion will be rooted 
in these geometric terms. So essentially, let me say a few words about the work. I mean, the work, uh, so the first term of this x dot square, just to, to mention it, uh, it will be positive. So if you want to have uh, a conversion of um, and the usable work, then it should happen that this term, the second term, becomes negative, let's say, negative in order to compensate for the losses. Finally, you can also again express the, the entropy production again in this, in terms of this uh, geometric tensor, uh, lambda. Uh, the energy, so the, the efficiency is, um, so for instance, if you have a heat engine, the efficiency is just given by the ratio of the work with, uh, with respect to the Q transport. You can also consider uh, um, also the refrigerator mode. In this case, basically the work that is done is positive. As, as a result, there will be some flow between uh, from the cold to the hot uh, reservoir. Now, in the limit of adiabatic operation, essentially, uh, from the previous expression, it's possible to drop out the losses because they scale like, uh, log, like omega in the first uh, approximation. And uh, if the heat, the transport heat is uh, dominated by the geometric term, meaning that essentially the thermal conductor, the conductance is zero, it's very low, it is regarded, then one, boil, one ends in uh, an efficiency which is law, which is very natural. I mean, we just expect that uh, this limit, uh, essentially, the geometric uh, component will, uh, will uh, give back um, the Carnot. And correction either comes from, uh, from the losses or they come from finite thermal uh, conductance. Just a flash, because I think I'm almost done with the with the time, uh, so I will skip this. Uh, this we'll just study in details to example in which we consider simple two-level system coupled either to boson or to fermion uh, reservoir, and we we'll just look uh, in some details. Uh, I mean, essentially we apply the the formalism that uh, I, I tried to present uh, before. Uh, sorry, because of time constraint, I would like to skip on the uh, result and just come to, uh, to, to this part, which I think it might be uh, interesting. So I think that the, all the components to study these effects are already, uh, already present. I mean, I'm referring to the, to the group of, uh, to the experiment done in, in Duca's group because uh, some time ago, I mean, more than 10 years ago, he just did an experiment of Cooper pair pumping in which he considered like, what is called Cooper pair loose, in which he had essentially a, a double junction in which he could uh, control um, um, through fluxes and gates, just Cooper pair pumping. And uh, at the same time, uh, more recently did experiments in um, heat transport by considering essentially nano uh, circuits, superconducting nano circuits, which are uh, coupled to some uh, LC, let's say, resonators. Now, of course, I mean, as a theorist, it's very easy to combine. And uh, well, the proposal is pretty natural. Uh, so actually, uh, something like uh, having uh, Cooper pairs loops connected uh, to two uh, LC circuits might give uh, um, a di direct, uh, you know, experimental realization of uh, an adiabatic uh, heat engine. But of course, I mean, this is a theory game. It's much more difficult to to realize experimentally, then the rest, uh, I, I think, is not totally crazy to imagine uh, uh, to realize such a, uh, such a combined circuit. I think uh, I think 
time to explain this, so I just conclude then, uh, since I, mean, I already said, the only thing I would like to uh, highlight is that uh, it would be possible, it would be nice to just have uh, uh, to address all the geometric aspect and uh, heat engine, both in uh, work, heat, and uh, <coughs> and uh, Efficiency, so let me stress something I did not say, is that this type of analysis also in principle allows ways to, to minimize, uh, uh, to minimize uh, dissipation. And I just complete that with a possible experimental implementation. And with this, I just thank you for the attention. Thanks a lot, uh, especially for staying perfectly on time. So we have already two uh, Questions. So, Anatoly. Uh, hello. Sarah, can, can you hear me? Yes. We sorry, do? I stopped sharing the screen, otherwise, oh. I see nothing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, so, I, I have a question. So, when we worked on this uh, related things, we found that if you look into instantaneous energy variance, then quadratic contribution in this lambda dot in your velocity is always proportional to geometric tensor. Yes, but indeed. if yes, you look yes. in, into yes. energy, then you get indeed um, sort of reversible non dissipative contribution, which sort of we interpret it as mass dressing because you sort of you, you add to your inertia. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. this is proportional to geometric tensor only in the limit of high temperature. You just use fluctuation dissipation relation. So if you get indeed the X temperature. And uh, I'm just curious. So is it similar to what you're saying? So this since in some sense, if you drag some object, there will be extra inertia, extra contribution proportional to velocity squared, and velocity is rate of change of parameter, right? And and this is basically added mass. So and I was trying so to. I thought, yeah. Okay. So I'm not sure I can give you a. So I, I'm not. Sure, I have to think. But my suspect is that uh, this term that you're referring may appear in terms of the heat and uh, in the heat transport uh, in terms of the order of uh, I think I lost uh, Anatoly. But, yeah, my computer died. I'm now with ah, okay, okay. I, I, yeah. I, okay, okay. Yeah, my computer uh, died. Um, I think this term are you referring might appear in as higher order terms in the heat and the work. So in the heat, we just had the terms of the, uh, we consider only the geometric term. And I think this mass will, very uh, amazing, or should appear there as a higher order term. I, I, mean, I mean, I have to think about this. This is my feeling. Uh, because it's because the, the term, uh, the term uh, in uh, x, dot la x dot lambda x dot in our case appears on, is just related to the entropy production. So I suspect that this mass renormalization should appear uh, in the heat transport, but we did not include, I, I think we did not include this high order term. I have to think, I mean, this is my first reaction. Okay, okay. Okay, well, thank you. Yes, we have another question uh, from Nicole. Hi, I was wondering when you said Friction, were you referring to non-commutation of terms in the Hamiltonian? No, it's just losses. I mean... Uh, okay, but because, uh, quantum yeah. friction... No, no. Quantum friction no, 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 sorry, no, 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 sorry. I just, no, no, it's just okay. losses, sorry, sorry. Okay, thank you. Um, any other question? Uh, yes, John? So, Saro, good to see you. Oh. So, you mentioned uh, the possibility of kind of exploiting the, the geometry for control. Is is this sort of related to the to the thermodynamic length? Yeah. Kind of ideas? Yeah. Yes. I mean, yes. Yes. So yes. How, yes. Exactly. 
So what, 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 what would you actually do in this sort of two bath context, you know, to like, what are you controlling? Within, so, yeah, so I cannot give you a good answer because, or definite answer, but essentially you have to find a kind of geodesic which minimizes the, the dissipation. The dissipation, yeah. Well, we, we did not do it explicitly, so I, I don't have a good example. Okay, so. thanks. Thanks. Any more question? Um, if not, I suggest we thank uh, all Rosario again. Thank you.